What's up you guys? It is Friday and if you follow me on Instagram, I told you guys that I am now going to try uploading five, five days a week. I have like a specific schedule that I'm going to try and follow, but I'm not going to say anything until it's finalized. If not, it'll be in the description bar. You guys can keep up with my schedule. But right now, got to be honest with you guys, I'm thinking Fridays are going to be TGIF, which is going to mean, thank God it's food because... <laughs> I actually got that idea from my older brother. He's like, hey, why don't you just do TGI food? I'm like, that's genius. So there will be a whole playlist designated for this because a lot of you guys want to see more food recipe macro friendly videos based off of the comments that I've been seeing from you guys. So I've created a designated day all just dedicated to that type of stuff. So today's video is going to be Cellucor birthday cake protein cookies. I know, genius. I found it on Pinterest. I'll leave the blog post in which I found it linked below because I can't create my own recipes. I'll most likely just be showing you guys various recipes that I find on the internet of me making them and if I think they're good and reviewing them and all that blah blah blah. So let's go ahead. I'm using the nice camera today. Let's get this video started. Also, one last thing, if you guys know me at all, fun fact, I can't cook for crap, so it's going to be really fun. It's going to be like a royal shit show mixed with me <laughs> as your star. This is my first time baking cookies. <laughs> I'm 20 and I've never actually baked cookies unless they've been already prepared and I just have to put them on the oven. So wish me luck. Let's do this. Here is what you're going to need. Obviously some Cellucor whey protein in Corfetti some quick oats, baking powder, some non-fat Greek yogurt, egg whites, some vanilla extract, a banana, a whole egg I'm pretty sure, and the last three are optional and that's sprinkles, Pam spray, and Truvia. The last thing is actually optional. They say that um, if you, the cookies don't really come out sweet on their own. So I got Truvia because I don't want to hear anybody complaining about Splenda, so I have so much Splenda at home I just don't want to hear anybody complaining. So I got Stevia instead, it's a natural calorie free sweetener, yada yada yada, all you natural people out there, be excited, oh my god, it's, it's Truvia. I'm going to put in like two or three packets of this stuff because I do like things sweet, alright? So. One, let's just do three, let's just go, let's just go balls to the wall. We're already, we're already making a mess, okay? And three. So this should be what it looks like, what it looks like before you mix it all up. So I'm gonna um, grab a little whisk and uh, get this all stirred up. Wow, this is uh, really, oh, I forgot the egg whites. Oh, jeez. We still need egg whites. Hold on. Something seemed a little seemed a little dry. Okay, now we got everything. Let's stir it all up. There we go. That consistency is a little better. I'm gonna throw in some Wilson Wilton sprinkles to add some cuteness to the cookies because I know I got some girls on here that would like some cute some cuteness. So just sprinkle some sprinkles in that shit. Okay, it's looking real cute. A lot of sprinkles. Not a single F bomb was given. I don't know if I need to stir this up anymore. I feel like that is getting to a nice pace. But then again, what do I know about baking? So we're gonna see how many cookies we can get out of this. I'm gonna get them all set up. You guys can watch me as I put them on to my cookie sheet. Now we just play the waiting game. I just put the cookies in the oven. They need to bake for 15 minutes under 350 degrees. Like I said, you guys, this is my first time baking. I have no idea what I'm doing. Like, hold on, look at look at this mess behind me. What even? Oh wow, uh, it's, it's actually not as bad as I thought. Over there, if you can see all that, no, just no. It became a royal, royal shit show right at the end. So we're gonna let that bake for the next like 12 minutes now at this point. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make a complete fool of myself while 
attempting to bake my first batch of cookies at 20 years old. Do you even childhood? So that's it. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Hopefully these cookies are not a complete disaster. I have people counting on me. Totally convinced I burned them, but that's okay. This is what they look like right now. God, my camera makes everything look so much, so much prettier than it is. I mean, well, no, I mean, they do look that pretty, I guess. Yeah, they're gonna have, like, kind of a golden crisp to them. Anyway, I'm gonna let these harden for the next, like, five minutes or so. And let's just hope that although they're burnt, they still taste good. All right, you guys, so the cookies are finally baked, and I gotta tell you, I did make them, <laughs> I did overcook them. You can see they have like a golden glaze over it, but it's not that it's burnt or hard, it's just not as soft as it could be, if that makes any sense. But I already ate one of them, and like they're actually really, really good. The texture is different, it's very similar to that of like a protein pancake, but I didn't feel like it was too dry. It actually was really fluffy on the inside and really, really sweet. I'm really happy I added that stevia or truvia in there. The macros for this is, I want to say, one gram of fat, five grams of carbs, and five grams of protein. But yeah, let's, let's, let's go back to my face real quick. So you guys, thank you so much for watching my first TGI food video. I hope that it wasn't too much of a fail. I don't cook very much. My videos will probably continue to be fails for a long time. They'll probably never go smoothly, but hopefully that's what we enjoy about the videos. <laughs> Trying to plant it in your brains now, sooner than later. So this is actually kind of challenging myself to cook more often. So it's kind of cool because this is for you guys, but it's also for myself. So this should be like an every Friday series where I'm either going to review or do grocery hauls or bake cookies or something, something fun like that. So I'm probably going to go ahead and eat these cookies now because literally 5 grams of carbs per cookie, what? That is amazing. You guys have been asking when my giveaway ends. My giveaway should be ending, I haven't really decided that yet actually to be quite honest with you. Let's go ahead and set a random date for this giveaway to end on March 27th, that'll be a Friday, that's two weeks from today, and then I will mention the winner in a video and then personally message them. If I don't hear back from that winner within the next like, you know, a week, and I'm obviously gonna have to pick a new winner and so forth. So thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. There's some fun stuff coming up on this channel. A lot of fun stuff, so just stay tuned. That's it for this video, I'll see you guys. So tomorrow, peace!